Greetings and salutations everyone and welcome back to Deliver Us the Moon where we are quarters Yes we know we are currently switching batteries from the sleeping quarters to the maintenance which includes the elevator and said elevator we are going to yeah we are going to feed this cargo to said elevator Oh, um, easy. It's your turn. Because you need to activate the elevator for us. Where? Where? Okay. Oh, this is the battery. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we need to go here. Wonderful. So, now, let's load this puppy in here and let's take a ride beautiful now okay maybe that's not that wasn't that clever Demolition man! Alright. Here we are. Control center. Okay, let's check out the control center. Look at that. Massive destruction. That's a monorail that crashed in here. Oh, lots of oxygen cans. <coughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Another memory. Okay, good. So, but the reactor seems to be intact. So, somehow, Isaac and Sarah must have managed to stabilize it. Yeah, easy. I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out in, in just a second. Shortly. In other words. Breaking into reactor. So they were trying to break into that thing? Why? Hmm. Mm-hmm. What's this? Is that the BFG? Of this universe? Do we have a doom level coming up? <laughs> Probably not. Reactor capacity at one percent. We have to get in now. I'm out of options. I've tried everything I know. Think it's about to overload. Wait, didn't you say MacArthur overloaded safety limiters? Why are you talking about Mac Alex? Isolate encryption sequence 17B on the grid. Reactor capacity at zero <laughs> Got it. We're in. Now what? There's an emergency shutdown. Reactor deactivating. It worked. The reactor okay. stabilizing. We're not done yet. The reactor hasn't been able to send the energy anywhere. So PT overloading. Relief pressure immediately. The reserves are about to burst. We have to release the energy. How? A, a temporary transmission should send the. Mm-hmm. It's quiet. Finally. The reactor. Is it safe? It is. 
But the Force has moved the MPT dish off its alignment. How bad is it? Can we realign it? The controls are up in the tower. Mm -hmm. But let's see if there's any helium left first. Mm hmm. On the brink. Desperate, Sarah uses an unconventional method to access the reactor controls. Isaac reacts swiftly and shuts down the reactor before it can destroy Tumbo. Still, danger persists as the reactor's power has filled the MPT battery beyond its limits. Isaac activates a brief MPT transmission, but the build-up energy is released with such force that the MPT dish is knocked off its alignment. Recorded October 5th, 2054. Hmm, so we need to get up into that tower in order to realign the dish. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else we can do here? Yeah, we can diagnose. Diagnosing. MPT reserves close to. What? Reactor dormant. Retrieve additional. Okay, so MPT network offline, no outgoing MPT signal from Tumba reactor facility. MPT command offline, MPT reserves close to overload, still close to overload, okay. Reactor dormant, helium-3 required, open storage. Check the storage area for helium-3, yeah, that would have been my next course of action. Oh, another body bag. Hmm, let's hope it wasn't Sarah. Or Isaac. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Where is that sound of water coming from? Of running water. Out oh okay, yeah. Well this explains where the sound of water comes from. Outward. Huh. Let's get down there. Uh huh. In three storage. Anything on these notes? No? No notes? Nobody of you took notes about the outward program? Oh. Outward. Phase one. Evacuation. East and West units cover the East and West sides of the Tumbo facility, respectively. Phase 1 is split up into six steps. 1. A malfunction has occurred in the reactor. Round Tumbo employees in your area. Resistance may be met with force only if absolutely necessary. 2. West unit assembles employees to Helium-3 storage to load all remaining canisters into the designated monorails. When ready, wait for East Unit. 3. East Unit leads employees to crew quarters and have them clear it out. Limit personal items to a minimum. Only essential supplies are allowed on the arcs. When ready, move to West Unit. 4. Board the employees onto the monorails. East unit escorts them to Copernicus Moon Hub. 5. West unit splits up into evacuation crews 1 and 2. Crews 1 and 2 escort Helium 3 to Copernicus Moon Hub and extract Copernicus Outpost and Reynolds Station personnel. 
6. Phase 2 begins approximately 3 hours after Tombo employees arrive in Copernicus Moon Hub. Upon MacArthur's orders. West unit, east unit, backside, outward. Huh. So this was all planned. There was no incident or whatever. So MacArthur got this fixed idea into his head that the reactor, the fusion reactor, was somehow dangerous. And that they need to flee? What? And what kind of drugs was he on? Big Brother. With humanity's survival at stake, MacArthur left nothing to chance. Having secured a backdoor in ASE units, he kept a watchful eye on WSA colonists from his observation center. When riots broke out in Tumbo, MacArthur used the same backdoor to overload safety limiters and turn ASE units on their unsuspecting owners. What a jerk. Lunar Colonists Dossier Sarah Baker, professional background, software engineering, functional lead engineer, stationed at Pearson Space Station, colonist since 2048. Psychological profile, strong sense of duty, intelligent, inventive, determined, altruistic disposition. Insubordinate, performs reverse engineering on ASEs can potentially compromise outward. So... That's why MacArthur wrote to... I think Miller was his name? Um, that they should cease all communication with Sarah and that MacArthur will handle her. Huh. Mm -hmm. September 13th, MacArthur. I've been pondering the first phase of the plan. We must reconsider. The colonists have given up everything to dedicate their lives to keeping the MPT running. We should let them decide for themselves and come of their own volition. They deserve better than to be lied to about the state of the reactor. Isaac Johansson. September 14th, Isaac. This is a defining moment in history. The Exodus is humanity's second chance. The only one we are going to get. But the new colony cannot survive if we become splintered. We need strong arms, bright minds and undivided commitment. We cannot jeopardize outward by leaving it to the whims of popular opinion. People need a reason to leave the MPT behind, and we're going to give it to them. It's for the greater good. Wake Kathy up once we've begun phase one, then meet me in the monorail bay when she's ready to travel. We have cryopods for her and everyone else in the arcs. I'll handle the rest of the evacuations. The end justifies the means, Isaac. We do what we must to keep them safe. Even if they don't understand, William MacArthur, Lunar Council. Yeah. Well. What's this? Can we play, replay this little pocket memory as well? Or. No? We don't get any prompt. Huh. Huh. What a waste of water. People would kill for this on Earth. It's coolant. Water used for cooling the reactor. Some of the pipes must have burst. You think MacArthur left any helium? Uh, he wouldn't be so careless. But we should check. Just to be sure. 
Go ahead. I'll join you in just a moment. Wait, where are you going? I'll assess the damage further on. See if the cooling is still operational. I'll be right back. Hmm. Lost and found. Having stabilized the reactor, Sarah and Isaac head deeper inside the Tumbo facility. As Sarah starts looking for helium-3 to refuel the reactor, Isaac moves ahead to assess the damaged reactor cooling system. Recorded October 5th. Okay. Can we... No, this seems to be short-circuited. Or seems to have short-circuited. Okay, um, AZ, it's over to you. No way. <laughs> That's a little... Wait a sec, can we... Oh, I thought it's it's glowing, but it's not. It's just uh, reflecting the the strobe effect of the of the sparks. Okay. Let's open you. This gets us. This gets us another tablet. September 16th. Nikki, something's off. With the amount of moon rock we're putting in, we should be outputting a lot more helium-3 than what's listed on our charts. It's as if some of the helium-3 is never registered. But that's against every protocol I can think of. Why would the Lunar Council sanction this? Julia. Hi, Julia. I'll admit the numbers are off, but let's not jump to conclusions. Dr. Johansson would never allow anything to jeopardize the MPT's energy signal. He's too committed to Earth. Still has family living down there, just like most of us. I'm sure it's some kind of mistake. Nikki. Hmm, Nikki. Are you sure? Because I think... So, yeah, what, what's with Isaac Johansson's decisions? I mean, first he was all for the AdWord program and said he did what he could and it's time to leave and all that stuff. And then he stays behind? Caution. Battery capacity is limited. When full, do not activate reactor. System emits excess energy violently. Please be careful, Isaac Johansson. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what to make of Johansson. Helium-3 storage. Hello. What are you? Ah. Storage locked down. Open doors. Opening doors. Okay. Helium-3 canisters checked out. For transport, canister C5 marked for repair. Look for helium 3 in the monorail bay. Yeah, we will. We will. Oh. So, and this is the canister marked for repair. Eh? Empty helium 3 canister. Over the years and off the records, small amounts of helium-3 were moved away from the Tumbo facility to an unknown location. Slowly but steadily, the Lunar Council amassed a sizable supply of helium-3 with which to fuel the outward journey. 
When Tamba was evacuated and MacArthur unaligned the MPT in Copernicus's moon hub, causing the blackout, only a small amount of helium-3 was left inside the reactor. As it ran out, the reactor would have sustained permanent, irreparable damage if it hadn't been for Sarah and Isaac. So, yeah. Thing is, if the... if MacArthur had amassed a sizable supply of helium-3, um, siphoned it off from the normal production, then the numbers of the normal production were off, meaning that Isaac's calculations leading him to suspect that um, the MPT would never be able to uh, fully cover Earth's energy needs um, might have been off as well. So, huh. Ha, 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 ha. What do we have here? Reactor cooling. Research and development. Rosa Laverde. Nothing on the backside. Mm-hmm. What's this? Huh. We need to go down here, AC. So what's with this thing? Yeah. Where, where do we put you? Uh, do we shove you in there somewhere, or...? Get up here. No. This is closed. This is open though. Can we get up here? No. Oh. Well, we can get up there with a little help from our Helium 3 friend. Oh, look at that! A little battery. Backup power. Let's, uh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm not sure that this was a good idea. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I wanted to dr put you down. Let's drop you down here. Let's, um, maybe put you more in the middle, maybe. Can we, can we turn you a bit? No. Yeah, like so. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. Let's put you... Let's keep you here. And let's see. Jump up here. We can jump here. Good, 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 good. And we can jump here. Great. Now, let's try that again with the battery. Okay. Look at us not being electrocuted. So, system locked, please reboot. Let's reboot all systems. Rebooting. Reboot successful. What? What was the last? Bugger. But still, no, only occasional electrocution, or no more, e no occasional electrocution it is. Okay, 
Kruger. No, 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 no. Holy moly. Okay, wow. Okay. Let's continue, AZ. Let's continue. Wow, what's this? Huh. Huh. Can we get back up here if we need to? Well, we'll see. So what is this? Oh, no idea. I've not the faintest whiff of an idea. Mm-hmm, AZ units. What do we have here? Hi, Joanne. Thanks for the custom paint job on my suit. I love it. Enjoy my end of the bargain. It wasn't easy to find. Sarah Baker, Pearson Station Lead Engineer. Um, so what's your end of the bargain? What was your end of the bargain? Oh, probably maybe the alcohol? The bottle? Huh. We might never know. So, a battery, but this does not seem to be full. Does not glow at all. Doesn't have any glow to it. Oh, we need to go through here in order to get there. Okay, okay, will do. But first, let's see. Oh, and we somehow need to... Dis okay, yeah, we need to cut those cables. Oh, and what's this? Database. Broken pipe. This broken pipe seems to have been part of the reactor's cooling system. Developed by Rosa Laverde and her team at Huygens, the systems appeared not only useful for cooling the reactor, but also provided the basis for safe and reliable cryostasis. Colonists experiencing severe muscular or skeletal disorders due to the moon's gravity were given the option to enter cryosleep until better treatment was available. Isaac Johansson made this decision for his daughter Kathy. Mm. Yeah. So we need to cut the cables in order to... Let the, let the train open up this little blockage for us. And we will do so in, you guessed it, the next episode. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, if so, maybe give it a like, share, or even subscribe to the channel. And with that out of the way, I hope you have a splendid day. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye.